I am the technical director, which means I take care of this stage and providing for the needs of the performers using the stage. I have been uh, working in performing arts centers for approximately 35 years, mm -hmm. um, including another historic theater built the same year this one was built, um, and 20 years as a technical director in a large community arts center in Kansas. The theater uh, was constructed in 1890, used as an active uh, roadhouse performing arts center until 1927, uh, at which point uh, it closed in a legal dispute between the owners and the managers. Uh, the owners chose not to reopen it later. It sat empty until the 1980s when major preservation efforts began, uh, culminating with the $22 million four building rest three building restoration that um, uh, is the MSU Riley Center. Uh, as much as possible, we tried they tried to make the interior appear as it had originally. Um, however, they gave me a brand new stage house. All of the mechanical, electrical, and electronic systems on stage, including heating, ventilating, and air conditioning, are all brand new. The auditorium seats just under 900. Mm -hmm. uh, for most performances, uh, orchestra performance, we dropped to about 850. Shows I've liked the best. B.B. Uh, King was wonderful here. Um, my personal favorite here is probably Kathy Matea um, because her music is, the space fits her kind of music so well. One of the most complicated was uh, a Carl Rosa Opera Company production of Gilbert and Sullivan's Mikado, which featured sets and costumes from the original Sullivan sketches a 15-piece orchestra in our orchestra pit and 20-some voices on stage, um, not a microphone in the house, all done as live opera, um, should be done, and absolutely gorgeous production. Uh, the neat part is, was, as I say, the set and costumes were from the original Sullivan sketches, and the set that he had originally sketched for was a 30-foot proscenium, and that's what the set was built for. Right. So it fit perfectly, but it was a really big show to get in here. Any ghost mm -hmm. stories here? None. None. I am not terribly sensitive to ghosts, uh, but uh, I haven't noticed any here. Um, you know, a couple of our people will tell you otherwise.